Lindsay Phillips controversy next Oprah. Today on Daytime, you'll meet a little pooch who's getting a new lease on life. He needed a special family, so we thought he'd be a good fit. Also, Emmy accessories for less. She has $7 earrings on from Sierra. Whoa! Plus, affordable wines. This is a very drinkable, mm -hmm. easily very dry. drinkable wine. What's up, you guys? I'm Allison from American Idol, and you guys are watching Daytime. <laughs> Thank you, Allison. I Rahita. Yeah. Allison, I Rahita from American Idol. I'm Dave Neva. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Cindy Edwards. Welcome to Daytime. You know, this story just keeps getting better and better. By now, you've probably heard about the brothers who found each other through. Hmm? Well, perhaps so. I love what you guys are doing over there. And I am in love with a very, very special dog. Coming up, this little guy's name is Karma. And in just a minute, you're going to learn about his story and how some adopted pets go through a whole lot before they find their final forever loving home. We need to hear Karma's story coming up after this. Joy you and getting the inside scoop on Hollywood. Appreciate <laughs> you being here. All right, we're going to throw it over to Cindy and uh, a very special uh, guest and a very special uh, four-legged guest, kind of, Cindy. Thank you very much, pet expert, all-around animal lover, and longtime friend of the daytime family. Kristen Levine is here, and she's brought some wonderful friends with her. Don Ladd and her dog, Karma, who was rescued by Canine Castaways. Oh, That's my right. goodness. That's Kristen, right. tell oh. us about Canine Castaways. Okay, it's a fabulous uh, rescue group in Central Florida, just like many, many great rescue groups all around the country. And their mission is to rescue dogs and cats. Actually, Canine Castaways, so it's just canine. Re rescue dogs that have special needs, rehabilitate them, and then find them homes. And Karma is just a great story, a great success story, soon to be an even bigger success story for Canine Castaways um, because he's been lucky enough to have been adopted by, by Don Ladd. And Don, uh, did you go there with the sole purpose of finding a dog that needed something special? Did you say, I've got a place in my heart for someone or something special who, who needs something special? Well, that does seem to be the way we operate. Uh -huh. uh, we're very much for the underdog in our house, but uh, we just happened to see Karma on Pet Finder, and he needed a special family, so we thought he'd be a good fit. Well, um, let's take a look, at, a little closer look at, at Karma. His, his, his little front paws are, are kind of not developed properly, and do we know why or what happened? No. Yes, actually, um, Karma's front legs are broken. Oh. So they're broken in two places, the, both the radius and the ulna, just like the same bones that we have in our legs, are broken on both of his front legs. And we don't know what caused that, right? We don't, but we do know that it's, the it's the most common fracture in small dogs. And a lot of times it happens because they jump out of the person's arms or oh. they jump off the sofa. So that could be what happened. Dr. Colm Hay, who's um, a board certified surgeon that's going to operate on Karma, said that he sees 40 to 50 cases like this a year, but usually he's sees them right after it happens. So uh -huh. it's a pretty common injury. So um, Karma, obviously, we, we have video of Karma getting around. Karma has not slowed down. Oh, no, we don't have video <laughs> of Karma. We're going to show, show you, you Karma live. moving around. But Karma seems to be just fine. Um, how did he, uh, Karma adjust when he came to your home? Well, Karma has learned to walk upright on his own, and we estimate the injury to be about a year old by looking at the um, x-rays. And so he learned to adapt on his own. We can't claim any credit for that, and he just walks upright. And moves about quite well. You want to give us it? a little? Uh, <laughs> sure. Let's see if he'll do. An example of how Karma gets around. Oh, buddy. Karma's not going to let two broken front legs slow him down. Look at him. And and this I is the he, hi, sweet baby. We made friends earlier. It's just such a great example of how adaptable animals are. You know. He is coping with this, this injury so much better than a human being would. But it's not and, advisable and to keep him like this, is it? Right. In the case of these little dogs, a lot of times they have problems inherent to their breed. He is a purebred Pomeranian. Mm -hmm. And our concern was down the years, he may get a problem with the back leg, and then he would not have any choice. Uh, he wouldn't have mobility like he does now. So rather than take that risk when he's a little older, better to do the surgery now while he's young and can recover. So what are they going to do? 
Well, he's very lucky. He's going to be in great hands. Dr. Hay, as I mentioned earlier, who uh, uh, specializes in sur surgery, uh, things like this, he's going to fix the fractures on both legs. Actually, they're only going to fix the radius, not the ulna, because that's the most weight-bearing bone. Uh -huh. And then um, put it in place with plates and screws, and then splint it for a period of anywhere from two to four months. And so the recovery time is, we're not really sure how long it's going to take for karma to, uh, to get used to walking again normally. Um, but uh, the prognosis is very good. Oh, that's so great. Don, you must be a little bit scared, but also really excited, too, about this happening to your little baby. Here. I am. Uh, you know, anesthesia is always a risk, and, uh, you know, he is awful little, so I uh, feel great comfort that he's in good hands, and we're just hoping that he gets through the anesthesia, and then, of course, when you put any hardware in a body, there's a little bit more pain associated with that. So we just want to get him through that. And he did have heartworms before this, too. So he's recovered Aww. from that. This is next. And then hopefully um, he will lead somewhat of a normal life. I know it's going to be a big success. And you can get more information about this by going to daytimeonline.tv. More info about um, the, the, what is it, canine? canine castaways. castaways. Thank you. <laughs> Coming up on daytime, a great idea for dinner tonight. We're cooking up a tasty treat with Uncle Ben's. Don't go anywhere.